Let's solve one previous question of mathematical logic. This question was asked in gate CS 2015 set 1 question number 14. Which one of the following is not equivalent to P double implication Q and 4 options are given. P double implication Q that we can write as P implies Q and Q implies P. And we know P implies Q that we can write as negation P or Q. So I will write negation P or Q in place of P implies Q. I will get this negation P or Q and I will change latter this one Q implies P. Now compare with the option it is present in option B. Negation P or Q and Q implies B. So P double implication Q is equivalent to negation P or Q and Q implies P. Again, we will write Q implies P in OR format. So, we will write negation Q or P. The same is present in option A. Negation P or Q for this. Then P or negation Q. Here it is negation Q or P. OR is commutative. So, both are same. Next, we can apply distributive law here. If A or B and C is given, that we can write as A and C or B and C. Let negation P as A, Q as B and this whole as C. Now we can write negation P and negation Q or P or Q and negation Q or P. Again we can apply distributive law here. So negation P and negation Q or negation P and P or Q and negation Q or Q and P. Now these two negation P and P and Q and negation Q these two are false. True and true will be true rest it will be false. If P is true negation P will be false. So true and false it will be false. Even false and true it will be false. So negation P and P and Q and its negation will be false. So we can skip these two as this value are false and in case of or P or false it will be P. So we can write negation P and negation Q or Q and P. It is present in option D. So option A, option B and option D are equivalent to P double implication Q while option C is not equivalent. As here we found negation P and negation Q or P and Q but here it is given negation P and Q or P and negation Q. Both are not equivalent. So answer is option C. I simplify this and I got every option like A, B, D. And I didn't get C. So C is the answer. Even you can simplify every option. I already discussed propositional logic. Just go through the lecture. And if this lecture is helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye bye.